So, how do you feel about cooking? Nah, pasta and burgers are overrated. How about something more exotic, or rather, more cosmic? So, the recipe is simple. Take a team of enthusiastic astronomers and add some old images from the James Webb Space Telescope. Stir really well, and you'll get a shocking number of tiny asteroids in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Yummy! The highlight of this dish is the direction in which some of the asteroids are moving. Because, in their way, there's our poor planet. Are we doomed just because you decided to cook? Now, the asteroids I'm talking about are much smaller than the massive space rock that wiped out the dinosaurs, but they can still cause considerable damage. They range in size from as small as a bus to as big as a stadium. But even those small ones pack quite a punch. Let's look at a recent dramatic example. It happened on February 15, 2013. A small asteroid just tens of feet wide exploded in an airburst over Chelyabinsk in Siberia, releasing an insane amount of energy. Many people witnessed and recorded the event, and it gave scientists vital clues. New computer models helped scientists reconstruct the size, speed, and impact of the Chelyabinsk meteor. It was likely an asteroid, about the size of a five-story building, exploding from 15 to 18 miles above Earth's surface with an enormous, incomparable force. The blast shattered a million windows and hurt over a thousand people. Fortunately, it wasn't powerful enough to cause too much damage. But it gave us an idea about how dangerous an airburst can be. Now, an airburst occurs when an object explodes high in the atmosphere, never striking the ground, but releasing enough energy to devastate the area. But back to the small asteroids. The most dangerous thing about them is that they hit the Earth far more often than the larger ones, about 10,000 times more frequently. To make matters worse, their small size makes them harder to detect in advance, leaving little time for preparation if one is heading towards Earth. Now, let's travel back in time. Uh-oh, dinosaurs! Too far back. Ah, there we go! A team of astronomers is working on a special method to find small asteroids in telescope images that were originally taken to study distant stars. Using this method, they've looked through thousands of JWST images of a star system called TRAPPIST-1. It's located 40 light-years away and is one of the most studied systems outside our solar system. Now, while analyzing these images, they discovered 138 new asteroids in the main asteroid belt plus eight they already knew about. And guess what? Among the newly found asteroids, six seem to have been pushed into paths that could bring them closer to Earth. Who did it? Well, probably nearby planets. Are they holding a grudge against Earth? Interestingly, scientists thought they'd find just a few new asteroids, but the number was much higher than they expected. Yet it's no wonder. Right now, they're exploring a part of space they didn't know much about before. Now, let's talk about the hero of the day, the James Webb Space Telescope. It's especially good at finding small asteroids because it can detect their heat. These asteroids give off infrared radiation, which is much easier to see than the faint sunlight that reflects off their surfaces. This technology allowed scientists to spot the smallest asteroids ever seen in the main asteroid belt. The asteroids they found are pieces left over from collisions between bigger space rocks. Finding them helps astronomers understand the history of the asteroid belt and improve methods for tracking small asteroids that could threaten Earth. The researchers are planning to use James Webb to observe other star systems for at least 500 hours. They expect this work to uncover thousands more small asteroids in the solar system. Other advanced telescopes, like the Vera C. Rubin Observatory in Chile, will also help. Starting in 2025, this observatory will use the world's largest digital camera to photograph the southern sky every night for at least 10 years. Each image will cover a huge area of the sky, about 40 times the size of the full moon. The observatory might find up to 2.5 million asteroids in just six months, almost doubling the number we know about. Recently, NASA has identified two small asteroids. They were supposed to pass near Earth on December 16, 2024. Luckily, neither posed any danger to our planet. The first asteroid was 71 feet wide, about the size of a large airplane, and was traveling at 10,800 miles per hour. The second asteroid was slightly smaller, 56 feet wide. 
but it traveled faster at 14,700 miles per hour. But hey, even though this time the danger is past, who knows what the future will bring? It may sound weird these days, but astronomers didn't really care much about small asteroids for a rather long time. They thought of them as just random space debris that got in the way of observing stars. Some even called them sky parasites. But now, the way we see these little space rocks has completely changed. You see, until recently, we could only spot really big asteroids, those over a mile wide. The smaller ones just blended into the background noise in telescope images. But then, a clever trick appeared where multiple images of the same part of the sky were combined, making those faint small objects finally stand out. The data from certain telescopes, along with the James Webb Space Telescope, helps us improve planetary defense. But there's more to it than just protecting our planet. Studying these small asteroids also teaches us about how the solar system evolved. There are so many of them because they're fragments from collisions between bigger space rocks. One researcher has said this is like looking at old data in a new way. These small asteroids, which people used to think of as space junk, are crucial for understanding our solar system and even preparing for whatever the future holds. Among those hundreds of millions of rocks orbiting the Sun in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, some are especially worrisome. They come close enough to Earth for it to be quite concerning. NASA classifies asteroids that orbit within 30 million miles of our planet as near-Earth objects, and those could pose a serious threat if they were to collide with our planet. Right now, NASA is closely monitoring an asteroid named Bennu. This is a fairly large space rock, measuring about 1,600 feet across. It could, potentially, crash into Earth in 159 years. First, the astronauts spotted it in 1999. So currently, experts believe that there's a small chance Bennu could drift into Earth's orbit and collide with our planet by September 24, 2182. Would it be bad? Well, to put it in perspective, Bennu is taller than the Empire State Building. If it hit Earth, it would generate 1,200 megatons of energy, an amount so massive that nothing on Earth could generate that. NASA scientists are particularly concerned about a tiny chance that Bennu could pass through a gravitational keyhole during a flyby in the 22nd century. This keyhole is a region in space that could set the asteroid on a path that brings it directly to Earth. Now, Bennu flies by Earth every six years and has had three close encounters with us in 1999, 2005, and 2011. Right now, Scientists estimate that the chance of Bennu hitting Earth by 2182 is about 1 in 2700, more than five times greater than the chance of being struck by lightning. Although the chances of Bennu colliding with Earth are very low right now, this space rock is still classified as a potentially hazardous asteroid because it might come as close as 4.65 million miles to Earth. Now this asteroid is another space rock that we need to keep an eye on. It's a near-Earth object about 1,100 feet across, and it was discovered in 2004. Initially, it was considered one of the most dangerous asteroids ever detected. Apophis quickly gained attention because experts believed it could pose a serious threat to Earth because of its close approach to our planet in 2029. However, after further study of its orbit, astronomers determined that there was no risk of a collision for at least a century. Well, we can all breathe easier now, can't we? That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.